Hello everyone, my name is Harvey Trooper and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install Computer Plus to your LSPDFR. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Internet Explorer, which you will not need to do as the link will be down below to this. You can come straight onto the page like I am. Once you're on the page, it'll be the first link down below. So once you're on the page, click download this file, agree and download. And then what you want to do is download the latest version, so that's be computer plus underscore 1.4.1.1. Click download on that one. Let that install. Then what you'll do is click open. Here you'll have that here. Minimize out your Internet Explorer. Open up your GTA 5 main directory. And what you want to do is go to your disk, any drive that you have your uh, GTA 5 installed on. So for me that's C, and then it'll be Program Files 86, Steam, then it's going to be Steam Apps, the Common, and then here you have all your different Steam games. And if you haven't already made a copy of GTA, I recommend doing so before you mod your GTA. If you don't know how to mod your GTA, make sure you watch my one of my first tutorial videos on how to install SPDFR. So, I'm going to be installing it to uh, Grand Theft Auto, which is my current UK police mod, and there'll be a few UK police videos coming soon. So now bring your Computer Plus download up, open up the GTA 5 main folder file, and here you have plugins, and if you double click on that you can see that here is all the innies and dot L, dot .dlls for it to work. So now you have your GTA 5 main directory open. Just make it a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on so you don't actually accidentally drag it into any files. So now go back out of the plugins folder so you just have this. What you want to do is click on that, drag it into your GTA 5 main directory and drop. Make sure you drag and drop onto the side here. So if you see this little bit here drag it into there because otherwise if you accidentally drag it into one of these folders it will uh, suck it all up and you'll have to go through and delete the plugins folder which is just a waste of time so make sure you are dragging it onto the side here where no folder is highlighted so drag and drop and for me it's going to be replaced because I already have it so I'm just going to click replace and now I recommend doing this because with PC if you haven't changed the key bindings, most most people haven't changed key bindings for this on LSPDFR, but the uh, computer plus the computer plus uh, toggle key, so you can open up the computer plus, is uh, the one button that you need to use on your keyboard to finish a traffic stop or to start a traffic stop. So if you're on a traffic stop and you want to open open up the computer, it's going to cancel your traffic stop even if you're on controller. Because you can't, there's no button for controller with Computer Plus, as far as I know. So, what you want to do is open up the plugins folder, go to LSPDFR, here you have the Computer Plus folder, but you don't need to go into that. What you want to find is the Computer Plus with the little cog next to it. Double click on that, here you have text up here. You can edit it on Notepad, don't worry, you don't need any special software. So, you want to scroll down into the Open Computer Plus key by here. What you want to do is delete the E, make sure you've got cap locks on, otherwise it will not work, so make sure you've got cap locks on and put a capital X. So that'll mean now when you open your computer plus it'll be opened by the key X and key X is not used by anything else in GTA. So now you've done that, you want to close off, save, and you have now successfully installed Computer Plus to your GTA 5. There is also Computer Lite, I'm going to be doing another video on that, but I prefer to use Computer Plus as it is still equally as good, just a bit older, but you get a more realistic interface if you want a more of an immersive feel. But then Computer Lite is easier to use, I guess, and you have a court system with that, which also works with the LSPDFR Plus. But LSPDFR Plus is also becoming a little bit outdated. So I'm going to make an update video on all the different mods that are updated and not updated. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Almost on 80 subscribers. 77 right now as far as I can uh, see. I could be on 80 by the time I upload this video. I am not sure. But if we are, thank you guys so much for the continued support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.